guys, welcome to Bominate. My name is Brooke. Thank you guys so much for joining me. For week 11, I decided to mail postcards to random strangers across the nation to get their advice about how to live a better life. So I genuinely wanted just to see uh, what random strangers had to say about what makes them happy and what uh, their regrets are. So I made the postcard simple. It's small, there's not a lot of room to write. So I just told them, you know, my name is Brooke. I'm asking people from across the country their life advice just to help me to live my best life. And then I just asked them two questions. One, what is the key to your happiness? And two, what is your biggest regret? So I wanted to send these postcards out into the world to people who weren't expecting them. I just got on whitepages.com, put in random names, made sure that I hit all the corners of the nation. I mailed 40 of these postcards out, and then I realized that I put the addresses in the wrong spot, so I sent 40 postcards to myself. <laughs> Felt like an idiot, um, but I just kept going. I sent out 40 more, made sure to address them correctly, and I also included a stamped return envelope to help the chances I'd get a response. So every day I checked out to the mailbox like a little kid. I just anxiously was waiting for these replies. Um, it was exciting. I liked waiting for them. It made me feel like a kid again. So I still got so many return postcards with the recipient like having moved or whatever. All the trouble that I went to was absolutely worth it for the handful of responses that I did get back. Totally worth it. When I opened these letters, I found that it was it was really emotional. Like this was so much more intimate of an experience than I anticipated. These strangers really gave me a piece of their heart. They took their time, they opened up their lives, you know, just to be kind. They don't know me. I was just so humbled by the love that I felt through their thoughtful responses. One response that I'd like to read in its entirety. It was just so powerful. Hi Brooke, I received your postcard and wanted to respond. You either picked a good person or a bad person for advice, I'll let you decide. I've only recently found my key to happiness. I grew up in Arizona in a Mormon family. As a teen, I was sent to corrective therapy under suspicion that I might be on a bad path to sin, showing interest in the same sex. I lived a life for over 30 years, even getting married and having children. At the age of 37, I attempted to take my own life. It was then that I realized I could no longer hide who I was. The next two years were a nightmare. I was disowned by family and friends for coming out, so I moved. My husband has been a tremendous support, he encouraged me to be true to myself. I'm now the happiest I've ever been. I'm still with my husband who supports me and encourages me to be honest and true. I have the best job I ever could have asked for and a great support system and a beautiful place to live. My best advice is to be you. Be honest and true to who you are, your beliefs, and your values. Live the life you want to live and not, not what others want. Also, always show respect for others and pass no judgment on their path religious beliefs, or their values. Regardless of my experience, I still love my family and I respect their beliefs, even if it was hurtful. Because of that, I have no grudges and am at peace. My only regret is that it took me so long and a suicide attempt to find myself in my happiness. I hope you find that helpful. I'm happy to answer any other questions. Please take good care. This is so powerful. I read this letter over and over again. Her kindness to, to open up um, and, and the depth of pain that she felt in coming out and what an incredible husband, um, the fact that she, she feels at peace with how everything's happened, you know, what, what an example that is to me. And I'm, I'm more grateful for this than this, uh, woman could ever realize. And I'll keep this, I'll keep this forever. Another letter was so sweet. And <laughs> this is so cute. This man took the time to print out his favorite, uh, poem favorite little quote here. He he told me, you know, his favorite quote, uh, favorite poem that he wrote, and he just loves these points and, and what he, this is what he lives by. Then he told me, everyone has life advice. Take all of it with a grain of sand. Uh, I have three basic things that I follow. Don't waste your time stressing about things you can't change. It's hard to do, but so life-changing. It's like how to be happy. And then faith makes all things possible. Hope makes all things work. 
and love makes all things beautiful. I live by these three verbs. Good luck. That is so tender of him. And how sweet the time he took to, to print his favorite his favorite poem and those quotes. Again, so meaningful to me and something that I'll hold on to forever. Every time I read over all the responses that I got, I'm overcome with just compassion for these people. And I feel their love. They don't know me but they took the time to send me heartfelt advice that they thought, you know, would help me live a better life. They opened up, they were vulnerable. They didn't, you know, in promise of, of nothing. They don't, they don't know me, nothing in return. Their love has just given me tremendous faith in society and in strangers. Even though I had to send so many out to get responses, it was just so worth it. You know, I treasure these letters. And they really encapsulate the beginning of this journey of Bomini for me. Just my efforts to connect with the world. You know, we're all in this together. We all just want to be happy. I encourage you guys to send your own questions out into the world. If you're not up for sending as many as I did, you can send them to people who are interested in pen pals. And I'll include a link to a site where there's addresses for those people who want pen pals. You can be sure that you'll get a response back from them. Thank you guys again for all your support. And I really hope that as you're watching my videos that you can feel my love for each of you. You can feel just how much hope I have that my efforts will lift you up and will bring you happiness. So show me some love, like this video and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day.